What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Felix Sturm versus Isvan Sizili. To those who don't know, they recently fought over in Germany, uh, in Dortmund, Germany. Fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Isvan Sizili pulled off the big win. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the fight ended up going the distance. It was scheduled for 12 rounds. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Isvan Sizili won the fight by majority decision. Two judges had it in favor of Sizili. 116-111, uh, 115-113. And uh, one judge had it a draw, 114-114. And with this win, Sizili uh, defended his IBO Intercontinental Super Middleweight Belt. And uh, Felix Sturm um, has once again tasted defeat. Um, yeah, Felix Sturm, it's it's time for him to retire. I haven't seen the fight. I'm going to be completely honest. I have not seen the fight. I could even watch a little bit of it because the fight's not here on YouTube yet. And I couldn't find any footage of it on social media. Uh, but I've read some reactions. And based on what I've read, um, looks like Cizili won this fight. Now, there were some multiple uh, accidental headbutts here and there, head clashes. Um, which led to cuts on Felix Sturm. Um, but in the end, you know, Isvan ended up winning the fight. And in, in Germany too, the home country of uh, Felix Sturm. So, um, so yeah, and from what I've read, it looks like Sizili should have won clearly. That one judge, 114-114, uh, was uh, being too generous towards Felix Sturm. From what I've read. So anyway, uh, it's time for Felix Sturm to retire. Felix Sturm is already 43 years old. Um, BoxRec has yet to update it. I don't know why they haven't updated it yet because the fight took place hours ago. Um, but yeah, it's definitely time for uh, Felix Sturm to uh, to retire. Um, he's 43 years old. I know maybe during COVID or something, maybe he ran out of money or something like that. Or maybe he saw you know a lot of old boxers coming back and making decent money. But it, it's not worth... You're, it's not worth risking your health. Um, I'm sure Sturm has a family of his own, you know, a young family. I'm sure that he needs to watch and help grow. So maybe it's time to hang up the gloves for good and and retire. I don't really see Felix Sturm really doing much anyway at 168 pounds. I mean, I think Canelo would destroy the shit out of him. Um, and a lot of the top 10 fighters at 168 would destroy him. He's just not the same fighter as he was years ago when he was fighting at one, what, 160, 154. I think it was 160, right? Yeah, 160 when he was, I would say his uh, prime years was at 160. When did he fight Oscar de la Hoya? Yeah, he fought Oscar de la Hoya at 160. Man, that was a long time ago. 2004. 2004, man. Oh my God. He turned pro in 2001. Wow. Um... But yeah, it's definitely time to retire for Felix Sturm. 20 years in sport of boxing. Um, it's time to retire. It's time to hang them up. As for Isvan Sizili, um, you know, did not fight for more than a year. Uh, last time he was in the ring before this was in December of 2020. Hopefully he stays more active and stays more busy. Uh, and with this win, his name will be more recognizable. So he's more marketable. And I won't be surprised if some promoter out there uh, offers him a, you know, a good, decent a paycheck to fight some up and coming uh, super middleweight in the near future. So I'm sure we're, it's not the end of Cecilia. We'll, we'll see him again in the near future, I'm sure. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.